All right, this is our senior project, uh, LSU Mechanical Engineering, class of 2013. This is Miles Delcom, Tyler Piku, and I'm Charles Schechsneider. Uh, this is our pressure vessel right here. Basically, we're testing the reaction forces exerted by relief valves. Um, this was an old air receiver tank that had a little pipe stuck in it, uh, and so it was kind of thrown off to the side. Uh, we modified it and uh, repaired it and modified it. We added three legs and then a 4 inch nozzle to the bottom, 4 inch 300 pound nozzle to accommodate the higher flow rates that we're pushing through this thing. Um, 4 inch pipe comes out around, reduces to a 2 inch pipe and goes into our 2 inch turbine meter. It's a new flow turbine meter, 2 inch threaded connections with the uh, new flow MC2 flow analyzer. Um, comes over here to our relief valve which is an Anderson Greenwood uh, type 243 relief valve it's a pilot operator relief valve. It had a Series 200 pilot on it. This is the Series 200 pilot that uh, we removed and routed some compression tubing over to our control panel, which is where we now control the relief valve. Um, one valve closes the loop and the other valve vents it off in order to open the valve. We haven't finished it yet. We're going to drop our PNID on the, uh, on the board, but uh, this picture we'll have to do for now. That's Miles, hard at work collecting data. Um, so anyway, we modified this pressure vessel. Um, we, it was a code, coded vessel. We uh, decoded this vessel um, and established a new maximum allowable working pressure of 330 PSI. We hydro tested it at 500 PSI, and we have a relief valve set at 300 PSI to protect the tank from exploding. Uh, we have our fill valve to fill it with water. Basically, we have compressed air that comes in on this side and puts a compressed air pad on top of the water. We push the water through the relief valve, down the discharge pipe, it hits each elbow, and then goes into our collection bin. Uh, we have pressure transducers, one on the tank, another pressure transducer upstream of the relief valve, a third pressure transducer downstream of the relief valve. The water comes down the discharge pipe. We hit the, the first elbow, we have a pressure transducer at the elbow, and we have load cells on each axis of the elbow measuring the reaction force in each direction. Uh, we couldn't afford to uh, instrumentate every elbow, so uh, we have dummy load cells at elbow two and three, and a plug at the pressure transducer port. Um, same thing at elbow three. Basically, we'll rotate the instrumentation around to collect data at each elbow. Um, this is our collection bin, which collects all the discharge that's going to shoot out, and a sump pump to pump it out. Um, this is our deflection hood to take the water and deflect it down because it shoots out really fast, like a fire hose. Um, and then this is uh, currently at about 120 psi, and we're about to blow this baby. This is Miles's interface in lab view to uh, measure the pressure at the transducers as well as the forces at the load cells. Um, you guys ready to go? Yeah. Yep. All right. We're kind of cover up the collection bin with the tarp. Gets a little, uh, gets a little moist. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna come around here, watch it from this angle. Maybe watch the turbine meter. All right. Shot engage. All right. As we shoot water everywhere, went well. And there, we have it. There's our discharge. Yay!